welcome my classic beauties. My name's Denise and I'm doing everything over 60. I'm so glad to be back. Um, I just feel like I've been out of it, to be honest. Uh, and so this may sound strange, but um, I never used to take naps and I've been taking a lot of naps lately and I, I hear they're good for you, but I swear, I, I think my skin looks more tired. I don't know, it's probably just me. All right, so if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. And so I've got, um, I've got three meetings tonight, actually. Um, I, I recut my hair. We'll see how that turned out. I haven't curled it since I cut it. So, and, um, oh, you know, I was going to come with, uh, to you guys with a haul today. It was just a little mini haul, but, um, our post office sent it back and it wasn't even, it wasn't even 24 hours. Hell, it wasn't even 12 hours, I don't think. No, I guess it would have to be over 12, but sent it back and so I didn't have it. But I've got it ready for pickup today. So, hmm, I'll, I'll, hmm. well, I don't want to say I'll, I'll do it, but I'll try to do it. Because <laughs> uh, it is a little bit, um, it's a little bit tight today in my schedule. So, I have uh, used my... Um, Project E uh, device and um, that's the light therapy uh, mask that I got to uh, review and I'm going to be reviewing that um, very soon here because my time's almost up on it. Um, I've got to do a deep dive into what my skin looked like before because I took some pictures um, and also after uh, uh, and so I did that. I did my microcurrent device it's called the Foreo Bear. And so I took care of all that good stuff. Um, and now uh, I've already put on uh, my serums and um, my moisturizers. So, uh, and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Neutrogena. This is my favorite. It's the Hydro Boost Water Gel. It feels so good, you guys. And so I'm just gonna Put a little extra on the eyes right now and so i was going to get that nail polish it's just a light color yellow like the color of butter and this is the only color they had this is not what i wanted i swear you guys i have to do everything myself <laughs> so I will have to figure it out because this is not, I don't like neon. Yellow. What I am going to try today, I, today I want to uh, specifically work on, I'm having an issue with these marionette lines. I I can see them um, and they're just, it's just, I want to see, I, I, I watched a couple of different videos and I want to try out a new technique and see if it looks any different. We'll do a, you know, this side not, this side yes, type of thing. So let's just get into it. All right, so I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. I'm going to saturate it and, and then I'm going to squeeze it out. And let that set for a minute while I put on my concealer. Also, I'm going to try, I think, something a little different here. So let me use my, this is Instant Age Rewind uh, by Maybelline. I've taken the top off it. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, put that in my troughs. And I'm, what I'm not going to do, you guys, is you don't want to put it right up against your lash line. The reason you don't want to put it right up against your lash line is because generally you're right near your lash line is really wrinkled. And so we're trying to uh, hide those wrinkles. And so when you're doing, um, I don't know if you are, not, are familiar with this, but when you're doing concealer you want to tap it in you don't want to swipe it in because you're just really basically getting rid of the of uh, the product you're just taking the color that you wanted to apply on it and uh, 
um, not. <laughs> and you're just kind of like wiping it away. So I've got a great deal of discoloration up here. No! And I'm just gonna pat that out. You can see I've left up there dark, natural. And, uh, So I want to be as easy with this color correction as possible. I'm probably going to be looking at some peach correctors only because my eyes are getting darker. <laughs> the, you know, the darkness around them is getting darker. So that peach will definitely take away that blue. And how you know, just a little tip, how you know what color to use to correct yourself is if you've got um, blue issues, you're gonna want peach. And if you've got red, you'll want green. And how you determine that is you get a color wheel you can go online just you know put it in your search engine engine color wheel and whatever color you're trying to take away you go the opposite on the color wheel of the color so if you're trying to take away blue you go to the blue you go to the opposite side of the wheel and it's like an orange and uh and then of course if you go to red it's going to show you green for the opposite. Okay. So I'm going to wait for the marionettes. I'm going to do that at the end so that it really shows up because I, I think it's just to the point where I need to have that extra oomph on there. I won't do anymore just to have it under the makeup like I've been doing for years. So, okay. Okay, so that's that's nicely milled out. Let's get into my favorite at the moment. I I'm shocked, but <laughs> it's so inexpensive. It's the Cover Girl, um, the Cover Girl with oil of Olay. I'm digging it, you guys. It's got enough coverage. It doesn't really seem to crease or budge, and I don't feel like it exacerbates my uh, wrinkles. So okay, I'm just gonna pat that in. And, and then we'll set it. If you don't set it, it'll get a wrinkle within two seconds on your eyes, really. It takes two minutes, a couple of blinks, because it's such a movable part of our face. It really doesn't take much to get a crease in there. So if you put your powder on, it's no longer wet and tacky, and so it won't, that won't happen. And uh, your eyeshadows, uh, without using a primer, I should say. And then your eyeshadows um, will glide over a lot easier because they won't be sticking to any part of your uh, concealer and or primer. I don't use primer. Because I'm a little older, I'm, I'll be 62. Um, because I'm a little older, I don't use primer because it's just another layer and I don't want any more layers on my face. Um, it just shows up my uh, wrinkles even more. I generally don't do my forehead, but uh, I do notice I'm a little red right in between my eyebrows. And so. All right. And so. I want to concentrate on getting rid of that and these. So what I saw was a different way of doing it. Instead of going down the marionette line, you go 
uh, horizontal to it. So we'll try that in a second here. Let's go ahead and put on, go ahead and put on this is uh, just my Wet n Wild, Call Me Maple, I think it says, something like that. And um, it's just the contour. And I'll go ahead and melt this in. So for me, in my face, um, I am really wanting to use the creams, especially in the summer, because you know you're outdoors and you can really be seen more. Um, and I, for me, using too much powder just makes me look chalky. Um, and my, and then that in turn makes my skin look crepey. So I, um, I don't like to use powders in the summer. I don't mind using them in the winter. I should say much powder. I don't mind using them in the winter because the lighting's different and I, I prefer to look a little more velvety um, in the winter because, I don't know, I just feel more kind of whimsical. It's, <laughs> I don't know. It just, it just seems more soft and, I don't know, the winter's harsh. I don't know. It reminds me of my mom. A bunch of stuff. So I like to wear, um, I like to wear that, the powders in the summer or in the winter, so. You really can barely see that, but that's okay. Now let's use, I'm gonna use this um, Luminous Putty. Oh, it says Belize, I can't quite see it, you guys. Okay. And this is what it looks like. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of it and Kind of scoop it out and then so I've got that's probably too much, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and smooth this out, warm it up on my hand so it'll kind of melt down a little bit better. So that's what that looks like. I'll just pick some of that up. I could have put it on the back of my hand, but uh, the palm doesn't have any sweat glands and um, I just prefer to do that. Okay, this is not showing up at all. All right, well, that's not showing, showing up. So let's use this. So I'm just going to, so it's got its own little luminosity in there. Which is nice. Oh, I don't want to mislead you. I, I stopped using my hand. I, I'm going like this because for some reason it didn't seem to want to, these putties are odd like that. It didn't seem to want to pick up there. Okay. All right. Okay, so I have no idea what I'm going to wear tonight. I think I'll say, play it safe and use my Eura Cutie by ColourPop. You guys have had this palette for a long time. It's a beautiful palette and um, it really has some um, great colors in it. So the first color I'm going to use is called uh, First Date and it's this darker one. And I have these hooded lids, so let's get rid of those. I think the sun's gonna come out today. Woohoo! So, um, 
So I just tap that in and uh, that really helps keep it in there. If you do the windshield wiper at, at my age or, you know, just depends on your skin, but it really can make just like little skips where your loose skin is. And um, it looks weird. <laughs> Okay, one gone. <laughs> Let's get the other one. Bye bye. So I think <laughs> I'm a bad girl. I don't work out. I do like yoga, but I mean, I don't work out with weights and stuff. And here it's always so dang rainy. To, to run or not whatever not run but to I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way up uh, to do any kind of exercise outside is a little limiting if you're not a fan of 80 mile an hour winds <laughs> with with uh, rain coming at your face it's just irritating so I am gonna break down and I'm going to join a gym I need to, I have to, um, I'm having issues. So, uh, I don't seem to have the strength I do. So I really need to get with some weights. All right. So we took at those out now for the lid. I'm going to go today. I think I'll go with this lighter color right here. And I'm just going to go from the inner. Oh, shit. oh no. You know what I forgot to do, don't you? Forgot to set those. That's why it's not going on well. I was like, huh, this feels kind of sticky. Eh. Dang it. Oh well. <laughs> My mind's kind of scattered today. <laughs> And I'm just using e.l.f. Halo Glow setting, translucent settings pattern is what I'm using. All right, now that I botched that, you guys, <laughs> let's continue with what we were trying to do. Okay, so let's put that on the inner third. And um, it's kind it looks beige or whatever in the, to look at it. These all look kind of like browns. They're not. They, almost all of them, they actually come on with a pink hue. Which for most of us, pink is a flattering color. Okay, so got that. Oh, sorry. For the middle, I'm going to go ahead and use this kind of a pink it's really light pink. Uh, just a little bit of sparkle in it. Barely see I have it on. And then for the last one, um, I'm going to use Candy Gram. And it's kind of a plum. And I'm just gonna put it at my last lash. And I am seeing some creasing uh, at the inner corners of my eye. And what I want to do for that right quick is I want to take some more setting powder and push. Now, let me see how that looks. Push it in so I'm actually so I'm actually doing that. So you're basically pushing it in. You don't have to pull your 
eye if you don't want to. Uh, I just think that's a little easier. Okay. All right. And that is a little boring. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little too boring. I think I am going to just go into my Once Upon a Time by uh, J Cat, Dia and Noche, Day and Night. I think I'll use this pink color. This is more of a cream. I'll just put that in the middle. There we go. That's better. It's a little lighter. got to my eyebrows. I'm going to use my uh, L'Oreal uh, brow stylist and I've been using my uh, it's a natural eyelash enhancer serum thing. I've been using it on my eyebrows too. But you know what? I don't see it doing anything <laughs> for either. So I guess the best I can hope for it is it's just going to be a nice lubricant moisturizer thing for me. All right. So I lost a lot of hair in here, I guess, from age. And if you want a little lift at the very corner, very tail, Instead of going under here, which most people do, go on the top. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is just the littlest, tiniest lift. I'm missing some right here. Okay, let me check. And then uh, uh, if you still are not happy with how that is settling in, use your finger. This finger has the least amount of pressure um, and the warmth from your hand and the oils will help also uh, put that back into place where it is supposed to be. Okay, so Moving on, let's, for my eyelashes, I'm going to use my Milani. So while I wait for that to dry, I'm going to move on to something else because these, this does not even come close to being the kind of eyelashes I like. I, I don't know, my eyelashes don't seem to want to hold a curl anymore. I might have to get the um, heated curlers. I don't know. It's uh, not working. <laughs> like this is as straight as a horse's. Uh, this is a little bit, but this side's always been funny. I want to work on getting rid. Now, so sorry, I'm going to use my, this is an Illuminating by Benefit concealer. And uh, I generally don't like to use Illuminating, but I'm going to try something because this is so sunk in. I want to see huh I'll be switched it actually I think it looks huh I think that did help The trick that I saw on line was, and I'm going to use uh, Tarte Shape Tape. This is uh, ivory, I think it says. And um, so instead of going down, like you saw me do earlier, let's try to see. Okay, so go down. Now this one though, this is what the girl did. And 
let's see. Ah, it's too much. can't tell. <laughs> um, let me do a contrast underneath it. I'm going to use my pretty fresh uh, dark 18. It is by ColourPop. I don't know if this one's bigger, but I swear it looks a little bit bigger to me. I mean, more obvious, I should say. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I can't, I can't tell. Can you guys tell? Does it, I, uh, when I, when I edit it, I'll probably be able to see. And then me talking about this won't even make a difference because I'll put, I'll, I'll write it. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. It seemed to work on her. Hmm. All right. I need to contour out my gel. Jowl be gone. <laughs> and I just used the same one that I used for my other contour. And then just in case those two don't, um, just in case you can see the difference, which I can, the difference between here and there. There's a space right here. And I like to use, you can use any face powder you want. This just happens to be JCAT uh, Face Symphony. But I like to use um, one that's kind of flesh colored. And then that kind of helps to marry that up. But you guys, I think I got this palette mm, Maybe uh, for Christmas, maybe? I Look at it. You can kind of see like the squares that are in it, like that where they poured the powder and stuff. I barely use this and you can already see that. So that's a bummer. But anyway, so there's that. Now let's go on to, I haven't worn a cream lipstick in forever. I have this uh, Too Faced and um, it's called Lady Gold. And called Hip Woman or Hype. I don't know. H Y P E, Hype, right? And look at it, it looks like a little heart. So let's try it. It feels good. Of course, it's not long wearing. I do have a long wearing one that looks just like this though. It's got the magnetic little top. I don't go to the corners of my mouth because you can see it's not on the corners of my mouth. All right, I start right here, but when I shut my mouth, you can't tell. Now, if I were to put it all the way to the ends of my corners of my mouth, um, as you age, your mouth droops mostly, <laughs> and it makes me or anybody else, in my opinion, look like the Joker. <laughs> it just, unless you've got a really small mouth and upturned corners of your mouth, it, for me, that's a no-go. So, this is uh, enough time for me to have waited to put on my second coat of mascara. Let's hope it does something. I don't know. So in that haul, uh, I was going to be wearing false eyelashes today, so I didn't have to do this. Because guys, I think that's the way it's going to be going, and I, it's going to be a lot easier. And I'm still going to get my 
I want to get the Rodan and Field. It's like a hundred bucks. It's a six month supply. So, okay, and that definitely did help. All right, let me see. Go ahead and go do my hair, and I'll be right back. Well, I am all ready for the day. It's just kind of a casual look. It, uh, it's kind of neutral colors, and um, I don't know that I noticed any difference with that application. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying it, um, of trying to hide that marionette line by going this way instead of vertical. Um, I don't really, like I said, I have to look in when I'm editing the video. Um, I don't really see much. My, um, my idea now for the last thing that I want to do is I just want to do a little lift. Just a tiny bit. Can you see just a little tiny difference just from that? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Look at that. It's nuts. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. So, see my eyes still look tired to me. All right, well, that is it for real now. All right, um, I will come back to you guys with a teeny tiny haul. Uh, it's not that big of a haul. I want to try some of those. Have you guys seen the Wow hair products? I want to get some of that too, but I have to go down to uh, Ulta to get it because I can't seem to find it uh, at a regular grocery store. All right, guys, uh, when, until next time, we'll see you soon. Bye.